All right. <clears throat> so we're going to get right into it. UTC. UTC. What is UTC? UTC is a universal time. All right. Now, me telling you that, you're, you're still not going to understand what the hell I'm talking about. So I'm going to have to show it to you. All right. Now, I'm showing you this so I can show you the text messages and what time these text messages was given and taken. All right. So first, we have to start off by, by seeing what time Rosemont is compared to Chicago's time. Right now, at this moment, it is 718 in Rosemont. And here in Chicago, it is also 718 in Rosemont. All right. I'm not in Chicago. I'm just saying on this, this site in Chicago, it's still 718. So, Rosemont, Chicago, the time is the same. All right. Let's go to the UTC time. This is the UTC time. All right. This is the UTC time. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to refresh it. It's been sitting up for a while. I'm just going to refresh it for you. All right. So, zero, zero. That's considered 12 o'clock, okay? 12, 20, 12, 20 now, all right? That's considered 12 o'clock, 12, 20, zero, zero. That's uh, 12 hours after 12. This is how I do military time. This is military time. This is how I count military time. Anything after 12 is afternoon going into evening. So zero zero is at, at, zero zero is actually after twenty three. Okay, so twenty three would be eleven. Eleven plus twelve is twenty three. Twenty four they don't put twenty four. They just say zero zero. Okay, on time clocks. All right, they just say zero zero. I believe in military they actually do use twenty four. I'm not certain. I haven't looked it up. I haven't asked anybody. I haven't really. Did any analysis on that, but I do know public uh, publicly zero zero does mean twelve, all right? Midnight, okay. So with this being said, this is twelve twenty one. Let's go over here. Seven twenty one. Y'all have to remember I'm using sites, okay? So these sites have to refresh. When I click on the tabs, I'm going to click on the tab for Rosemont. Okay. All right. So that's 721 in Rosemont. 721 in Chicago. 1221 UTC time. Okay. Anybody can use this time. This is universal time. Anybody can use this time. Anybody can use this time. Okay. Now, what you see at the bottom down here are accurate times of these cities. Those times are the uh, daylight times, the daylight saving times, or whatever you want to call it. But it's the actual time that everyone uses. This right here is just a universal time that anybody can use as far as authority or whatever the case may be. All right which is the universal time code or whatever you want to call it. All right. So let's get to it. 1222. 722. 
and in Rosemont also 722. That's a five, uh, let's see, yeah, that's a five hour difference. Okay, that's a five hour difference. So if you have a five hour difference now from seven to 12, or from seven to midnight, seven, zero, zero, zero is 12, zero is midnight. So if you have a five hour difference, then that means in the test, Hmm? This is where it all ties in. U T C. So in the text, look, they're either texting from Rosemont or Chicago, either one. They're both the same time zones. Okay? So if there's a five hour difference in the UTC time, that means this right here. was 6 o'clock in the morning no yeah 6 o'clock p.m. okay this means it was 6 o'clock p.m. when this text came in wanna go to the show with the hood tonight that was on the 8th 6 o'clock in the afternoon or the evening Okay, that's a five hour difference. Let me show it to you one more time. Zero, zero is actually 12. Okay, so you would think in your head this is 12 o'clock. And then you would look over here to see what time it is over here. And that's 7.24 right so 12 and 7 is a 5 hour difference so with us knowing this every time we see UTC we automatically take 5 hours away from it and we have our actual time that the text came in alright So let's look over some important texts. Says how we're getting up, blah, 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 all that. So this right here is the conversation. You can read it for yourself. All of this is conversation between Kanika and whoever's supposed to be riding with Kanika to go to the movies. Okay. My main thing is just the time. For right now, my main thing is the time. What time was this? Well, now we know. Okay? This was at 6 in the afternoon. Okay? So she was nowhere near going to the hotel at all. All right? Um, now, when it starts getting down to... Down here... Okay, I'm on Central now, so be ready to come out. That's at 6.57 p.m. And she's saying, thank you. So I'm, I'm on Central now, so be ready to come out. Roughly 15 minutes later, roughly 15 minutes, 6.57 to 7.00. 15 so roughly she say you lost girl it's cold out here see what I mean roughly 15 minutes later you lost you was just on central so let's find out where central and Gladys and Kilpatrick how close are they apart All right let's figure that one out okay so here we are right here on Central alright here's Central now 
<clears throat> from my analysis, there's two different centrals. Okay, here's North Central, and I'm pretty sure there's a South Central right here, but this is not what I'm concerned about. This is Central, and over here is also is the Central Park Avenue, but possibly she could have been talking about Central Avenue and not Central Park Avenue. But either way, as you can see, it's, the, it's damn near the same distance apart. All right, it's damn near the same distance apart. But I'm pretty sure she was talking about this central. All right, so she says she's on central, and then the text come back and say, "Girl, you lost." You see what I mean? Here's Kill Kill right here. Here's her destination right here. This is her destination right here. So she was coming from this way. You know what I mean? When somebody say they're somewhere in your city, you know exactly what they mean when they say that. Okay? So she had to be somewhere close. All right? She had to be somewhere close for the person to text back and say, you lost girl it's cold out here alright so she had to be somewhere close let's move along and again that's right around 715 around 727 Now here it's going to say a.m. because 12, meaning in the evening, all right, this would be midnight. But what we do is, again, we count five hours backwards. So it's actually 7 p.m. Okay? It's still the 8th, not the 9th. It's only saying the 9th because it's 12 midnight UTC but you count five hours backwards and you are still on the on the eighth at seven twenty seven PM all right call back right now right now okay this is twelve minutes later after the person asked uh you lost twelve minutes later Call bite right now, right now. Hurry up. Okay. They text right bite like five seconds later. Hurry up. But damn. <laughs> Here it is at 235 AM UTC, right? So that time would be what? Let's count backwards. 1, 12, 11, 10, 9. It's 9.35. We're still, we still on the 8th. It's 9.35. PM on the 8th. It's 9.35. Y'all still going to the movies? So what happened here? What happened between coming from this street to going to this street? What happened? What happened here? So four minutes later after that, Kanika finally texted back. If they ain't sold out when I make it around now. So it's like, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? 
So they text right back. Y'all still at your house? And then they text by JJ's and family dollars, she said. So did they delete a text here? Or did they make a phone call? And then hang up. But then that's too damn fast. We talking four minutes later. No, god damn. We're talking two whole hours later. So that's eleven forty three. So we go from seven to nine when this person is telling her to hurry up. Now we don't know if she made a phone call to these people or not. We don't know that. We don't know if she made a phone call between in between this this time. Between seven and nine. We don't know if she made a phone call. But this person is obviously testing her back and asking her, are y'all still going to the movies? This is some odd behavior type shit. So then on the 9th, I mean um, on the 8th, 9.39 p.m., can they contest back and say if they ain't sold out when I make it around there so the person tells back y'all still at your house it's like 13, 13 seconds later you know what I mean so then 4 minutes later no 2 hours and 4 minutes later the person text by JJ's and Family Dollars, she say. So I don't know if they made a phone call. This person they had to make a phone call between in between this time right here. Now. I mean, people ain't nobody finna just automatically just text your phone after two hours asking you, "Are y'all still at your house?" Then two hours later, you give this direction by JJ's and Family Dollars, she say. Like this doesn't even fit a conversation within the text so this has to be from a phone call a response from a phone call you see what I'm saying this has to be a response from a phone call so again that's 11:43. Uh, person giving them JJ's and family dollars she say by JJ's and family dollars she say so the person is obviously giving her directions to somewhere. All right? By JJ's and Family Dollars. Now, is it this JJ they're talking about? Which is on Central. It's off of Central. This is Central going along this way. That's central. And I don't see a family at all. So that's possible. Again, this is along central. Alright. Still in the same area. And I found another JJ here. Within the same area. And there's a family dollar down the street. Alright. I have to show you that on the big map. Big, big map. So here you have the family dollar here. And you have a dollar general here. And right here in this location. In this little area right here. Is the JJ I just showed you. And again... It's in the same area of Central Avenue. So they was telling her a location within that area. All right. They was telling her a location 
within that area. Again, this was at 11.43 p.m. on the 8th. Now, now we're talking about midnight, okay? The text, I'm going to read it. The next text message that was received by phone number, such and such, Kanika did not respond to. I attempted to contact the number with negative results and received an automated voice message stating that the phone number is not accepting calls. I also attempted to run a clear search on the phone number with negative results. I don't know how the fuck the police runs a clear search on your phone number and don't get any results. By the way, the text message was as follows. So this is midnight. Now we're talking about going into the ninth. Okay, but this is the ninth morning. Okay, midnight. All right. The text says, Let me be a thought in peace. Stop trying to kill me, bro. Clown ass. Okay. Now. Kanika did not respond to that text. See, in the beginning, a lot of people were saying that this was Kanika texting this. No, no, no. This was someone texting Kanika. So I'm going to read that again. The, the next text message that was received by phone number such and such, Kanika did not respond to. And what was the next text message? Right here at midnight. It says, let me be a thought in peace. Stop trying to kill me, bro clown ass. See, everybody thought this was Kanika texting because it says, stop trying to kill me. But this wasn't Kanika's text. This was someone texting Kanika. All right. Now, where was, she, where, where was Kanika supposed to be at midnight? So far. Where was Kanika supposed to be at midnight so far that we know? So far that we know, she was supposed to be on her way to the hotel. According to the clocks and the timestamps on the clock, she got there around 112, 115. Between 112, 115, right? So she could have been still on the express wheel, still, you see what I'm saying? At 12, we're turning at 1202. Or she could have been heading towards that direction. She she may not have left Chicago yet to go to Rosemont. Because they say at Tops it takes like four to five minutes to get to Rosemont from Chicago at Tops. Four to five minutes, depending on who driving and how the traffic is, is what they say. So four to five minutes at Tops from Chicago to Rosemont. Uh, gets there around 112, 113, something like that. But this text comes in at 12.02 midnight on the night. So in between leaving to go to Rosewood or somewhere getting something, before leaving to go to Rosebud, but like they say, there was no response to that text. So the next message that was sent was from Kanika, stating the following, I'm ready to go. Remember the UTC time is five hours apart, right? So. At 120, we seen on my last video, we seen what time Kanika came in the parking lot, what time Kanika came walking through the halls. I don't know if I showed y'all the one walking through the halls, but the one in the parking lot for sure I know I showed y'all. 
So between 112 and 115, how all of a sudden at 120, I'm ready to go. This is like five fucking, like 10 minutes apart. That's roughly 10 minutes. From 112 to 120, okay? 112, we spot them in the parking lot. Around the 111, 112, something like that. We spot, spot them in the parking lot to 120. So roughly, that's 10 minutes. I'm ready to go. Who are you texting? Well, the only person that had keys roaming the fucking halls was Bree Bree. Remember, Bree Bree didn't go up to the floor with them. When they made it to the lobby, when they first got to the hotel, they came down the food court and they got ready to make that split to go, that turn to go to the, the elevator. Bree Bree split from them and went to the lobby. So who is Kanika Tetson saying I'm ready to go? Uh, that would be one of the people that are not with us that came with us. You see what I'm saying? Like, nigga, you came with us. You ain't in here with us right now, and I'm ready to go. So you are the one that I have to text to let know that I have I, I'm, I'm ready to go. That would be bribery. That would be bribery. That would be the only one that I'm texting saying. I'm ready to go because Monif and Shemaya with me. So the person tells back and say me too. At one fifty eight, took you thirty minutes, or they say approximately just over thirty minutes to say me too. Again, where was Bribery? At 158. What was Bribery? Hmm. Let's find out. Look at the time. Y'all already know I'm going to sink them in together. Remember I showed y'all? Bree walked here slightly and looked down stairs, down to the lower level. Remember that? Okay. Pay attention. I'm on this side. See that? Then she's going to walk this way. What's in her hands? Mm-hmm. Keys. She ain't have all that. She ain't the driver. They didn't drive her car. So where is she going to? Back to the parking lot. Or back towards the parking lot. Where is she going? Hmm? Where is she going? So we're going to pause this. We're going to pause this. Who's that coming in? Okay. Yeah, I got a little question about um who came in roughly around 2 o'clock with a jean jacket on. And a white fisherman hat. Yo, we're going to get into that one later too. So, uh, so back to here. Okay. So, at 120, I'm ready to go. We already know at 120, I'll show it to you. I'll show it to you. Where was Bree at 120? I'll show it to you. Remember, Bree did not go back to the room. I mean, she didn't go to the room when they first got to the hotel. Well, here she is at 125. Remember, she was back here meeting that dude. Okay? They just got here around uh, between 112 and 115. She didn't go to the room. She went this way. And then uh, 
Irene and them, I'm going to go back some more. Irene and them came down. Okay, that's what Irene right there. Irene and them came down a little after they arrived to the hotel. Irene came down and met Bree, Bree in the lobby. Then when they left to go back to the room, Bree went back here to go meet a guy. What time does this say? Oh, at 1.19. Hold on, let me see. Let me make sure you 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 making sure. Let me back this up just a little bit. Okay, here they go down here. Pay attention. Here they all go down. They go Bree, Irene, and Shallow. Okay. Irene and Shallow going to come back down to go back to the room. And Bree is going to do what? Pay attention to the time. 119. 120 is the when the text said I'm ready to go. Hmm? So when she said I'm ready to go, that means Irene and Shallow wasn't even in the room yet. Irene and Shallow was not in the room when Kanika made that text saying I'm ready to go at 120. Okay, I now already showed y'all on an easy night. It takes no more than 15 seconds. You've seen Bree Bree go bite though. It takes no more than 15 seconds to get to the ninth floor from this floor. I didn't show y'all this already. Okay, Bree just hooked that corner. Y'all seen that? What time is it? Hmm. Oh, okay. It's 1:20. Why she ain't text that girl back? Oh, because she was too busy meeting the dude. Hmm? Why she ain't text her back when she came from out of there? Hmm? She walked through the lobby and walked across like she was going to the room. She went towards the elevators, but she never went back in the room yet. She came back down. Maybe she went up to the floor, but she never went back to the room. You see what I mean? Because if she would have went to the room, she do, she wouldn't have responded me too 30 minutes later at 158 and I said it looked like his dick little come on now who are you talking about y'all ain't talking about the same person y'all came in by yourselves there wasn't no guys around you didn't go to the room with them so why didn't you say all this when you Went cross here to go back towards the elevators. Oh, you ain't say all that to her because you never went back to the room yet. You never went to the room yet. So you did whatever it was that you was doing within them 30 minutes. And then you came popping back out again and you went down the hall roughly one, what, 54? Yeah, roughly one fifty-four. One fifty four, one fifty five. Okay, three minutes later, you wasn't in the building. Three minutes later, you were still out in the parking lot somewhere. Okay. All right. One fifty eight. Me too. And I said, look, like okay. So that's all they got from the text, and there was nothing further. Through the forensic examination with such and such, phone and an interview, everything was consistent with the statement she gave, stating Kanika texts her at the party wanting to leave. So who did she text? Okay, now here's Bree statement, all right? Here's Bree statement. Y'all see it, a.k.a. Bree Bree. <laughs> you the police got the, 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 the always known ass name, okay? Now, let's scroll down here a little bit. Now, now, now. 
Since so y'all think I just be jibber jabbering and all that though. Let me tell you, let me show you well. Breathe a hello line. That, okay. After contacting Bree Bree, of course. Kanika parked in the rear of the hotel. Oh, Irene. After contacting Irene. My bad. Kanika parked in. This is. They're saying Kanika contacted Irene when she got in the parking lot. Kanika parked in the rear of the hotel and the group entered through a rear entrance. The group went upstairs to room 926 and since such, such remembers the following people who were in the room at this time. Now, this obviously is talking about Bree Bree, right? This is Bree Bree's statement. How do you remember who was in the room at that time when you didn't go in with them? Now, <clears throat> this is how you know Kanika wasn't on the bullshit. Why was she nervous about doing, about parking in the parking lot and saying something about a lost parking ticket is $200? Why was she nervous about that if this something that she was already doing? If this something that she even did before, she should have this pipe down. She shouldn't be even nervous about the parking lot situation. See what I'm saying? You can tell when Kanika came in the building, she was kind of lost, like, you know what I'm saying? Looking at new shit. Like, this some new shit to her. You see what I'm saying? She wouldn't be nervous about no parking ticket if she didn't did this already before. Because she know her mama going to get on the ass about them $200. You mean to tell me my car got stuck out there because, you see what I'm saying? Y'all done played some hook bug ass shit and then now I owe these people $200 to get my car back? That's why Kanika was nervous. Okay? Kanika ain't have no bullshit ass mama. She gonna get at you from the road to the total. I can tell. That's why Kanika was nervous. So she obviously couldn't have done this before. Saw all that shit on the six and the seven. Bullshit. That girl ain't did this before. That's why she was nervous about the parking ticket. All right. Come on, let's use our brains. All right. All right, look. Right here. I informed some people are also speculating that audio from the live video suggests Kanika was sold for $200. Uh, Brie stated Kanika was talking about how she didn't want to pay $200 for parking at the hotel if it didn't work out charging parking to the room. See what I'm saying? Why she didn't know that was going to work if she did this before? Why she didn't know that was going to work? All right. Okay, now notice how she skipped over the fact that Kanika texted and said I'm ready to go. She skipped over all that shit. But this is uh this is brief statement. Alright. Now <clears throat> this statement right here is either Monifa or Shamaya. Okay? AKA either Nifa or Maya. Maya Maya. But I'm thinking this is Nifa. Cause hers is her AKA is Maya Maya. So I don't know. I don't know. It's either one of those two, though. But what I want you to see is when you get further down, I'm going to scroll slowly so you can have a chance to pause it and read it if you want. Alright, this is the part that I want to get to. It says, Blank stated she, Kanika, and such and such walked out of the hotel room to leave the party shortly after 3. Alright? Shortly after 3. There was no 2 o'clock. 
And again, no one mentioned her texting any one of them saying, I'm ready to go. Justice, but they just keep on bucking. Man, all we want is justice. Man, all we want is justice. All we want is justice, but they just keep on bucking. Man, all we want is justice. So miss us with that fuck shit. All we want is justice. Look how they did them. But they just keep on bucking. They put it in the freezer. All we want is justice. Look how they did them. So miss us with that fuck shit. They put it in the freezer. All we want is justice for all the fallen victims. All we want is justice for all the fallen victims. Man, all we want is justice. Look how they did them. Man, all we want is justice for all the fallen victims. When I start asking, can I see my baby body? And they first deny me. Look how they when I asked the sergeant for his badge number, then he said, I got to talk to the more. Man, all we want is justice. I said, can I see how my baby laying down that, you know, how, how she feel, how she died? Look how they did her. But they didn't let me see her body until four hours later. And you can't take pictures because this is a crime scene. And you can't take pictures because this is a crime scene. Because this is a crime scene. Because this is a crime scene. All we want is justice. Look how they did her. But they just keep on bucking. They put it in the freezer. All we want is justice. Look how they did them. So miss us with that fuck shit. They put it in the freezer. All we want is justice for all the fallen victims. All we want is justice for all the fallen victims. Man, all we want is justice. Look how they did them. Man, all we want is justice for all the fallen victims. She was defrosted in the freezer. They defrosted the whole freezer. Yeah. I guess that's why it gave four hours, right? Four hours, right? But I asked her, can I see my daughter? Why I can't see how she died? All we want is justice. And there's a camera sitting right in front of the cooler. They didn't see how she got in there. And there's a camera sitting right in front of the cooler. They didn't see how she got in there. Look how they did them. She wasn't even allowed to stand in the hotel lobby. They put us out. They put us out. They put us out. Man, all we want is justice. Buddy tried begging for help, begging for help. The police department couldn't even help us. After they found my baby dead, they couldn't even help us. The so miss us with that fuck shit. All we want is justice. Look how they did them. But they just keep on bucking. They put it in the freezer. All we want is justice. Look how they did them. So miss us with that fuck shit. They put it in the freezer. All we want is justice for all the fallen victims. All we want is justice for all the fallen victims.